Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Adrian, single father to 13-year-old twins, John and Ella. Hi. Our journey began in Thailand, where I used to work as an underwater cameraman, and that's where I met their mom. Tragically, we lost her during the birth in Bangkok. I later moved back to the UK to be closer to family. Now, nine years later, I'm home educating the kids and planning exciting adventures. I've always known the transformative power of travel, and I want my children to experience it while they're still young enough to want to go with their old dad. We converted my trusty work van into a cozy camper van to embark on incredible journeys. Our future plan is to upgrade to a bigger van and make a more permanent home in Europe. Join us on our journey as we explore the world, learn and grow together. Hi folks, yes, I'm back at my desk again because I do not have time to go out and film a video this week. I've been busy at work. I did say last week that this is probably gonna be the case, um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys a video from a few years ago when me and the kids very, very first had the idea of converting the work van into a camper van. Now this time it was just a temporary camper van that all ripped out again for it to be a work van. Unlike this time where it still stays as a camper and I've just got room for my tools, which seems to work at the moment, it's fine. Um, anyway, this was back in 2021 and you'll see the kids are a lot younger. I'm a lot less grey. Um, yeah, it's good fun. So if you want to watch that, it's about 20 minutes long. Let's have a look. What we'll do is we'll take you on a very quick tour of my work van and then we will walk you through the process of converting it into a camper. So there we go, everyone. This is the work van. There is the camera girl. Hello. She will be the camera girl when I start working. I'm going to make my moment shine when I'm in front of the camera. Uh huh. So we're going to be working out of this garage here and we're going to put a tarpaulin up across and into the van which as you can see at this moment in time we've got some insulation and bits for the conversion it's but mostly it's just a mess from my last job there's tools there's shelves full of tools and bits so we're going to begin with getting all this lot into the garage <laughs> okay so we've got the tarpaulin up we're ready to clear out the van let's go Okay, done. We've got it all cleared out, the bulkhead's out. So what we want to do next, because if we're driving around without a bulkhead, uh, we hear all the noise of the road and it's just very teeny sounding in here. So you can hear what the inside of a van sounds like. We want to dampen that sound and we also want to get some insulation in. So what we've picked up is some thermo wrap from good old screw fix down the road. And we have got some spray contact adhesive to uh, stick this to the panels. Now you can buy um, this sort of bubble foil with its own adhesive backing already. It's just a lot more expensive and I wanted some today. I didn't want to have to wait for postage, so screw fix will do. Uh, so we're gonna get the kids on with cleaning all these panels down so it's ready to stick to. And I'm gonna start looking at the electrics, which I've never done in a van before. So fingers crossed we get it figured out. So what I've got here is a leisure battery that I picked up for about 40 quid second hand. It's only been used a few times. The guy who had it previously didn't get much use out of it. It's fairly new. I am going to be wiring this up to the main van battery via this switch. Um, like I say, I'm new to this. So this is the first time I've ever done this. Uh, but what happens is I wire from the main battery through this switch to this battery and this switch uh, detects when the voltage is high enough from the main engine uh, and the main battery is charged enough, it then feeds charge across to this battery. So we're not sucking anything from the main battery because that will be a nightmare if we come to start the van one morning and the battery's flat. <laughs> All right, so we've uh, started doing the thermo wrap already. Uh, I've already done a bit in there, then I remembered we should film it. <laughs> yeah. So, 
This has been cut out to fit into there, except not that way obviously, that way. So we check ahead of time. There we go, so I know it needs to be this side. So L, can you get this? We've got this spray glue, which I'd never used before, this um, contact adhesive. And it's interesting stuff, it comes out like a spider web. Are you watching? Yeah, it's blue. It's blue, so you can see where you squirted it. Uh -huh. cool. There we go, and then straight up on here as well, because it's a contact adhesive, so you need it on both surfaces. To make it stick better. That's right. Be careful, John. It's Crazy serious. stuff. There we go. And we just give that a couple of minutes and then I'll be able to stick that straight up on there. So while that's doing that, we'll start cutting out the next one. So we are cutting out the therma wrap here and what I've been doing is I'm using these original, the original ply lining panels for some of the, pa some of the parts. Uh, it makes it a damn sight easier. I can just pop that there and literally just get my Stanley knife. So while we've been cutting that, this glue over here has been going to tacky. So I can pretty much touch that without it coming off against on my fingers. Make sure I've got this lined up correctly. No and one likes blue in their fingers. No. So I'm gonna put that there. Start. Oh, let's block that door there. Applying pressure. Sorry, Al, have I moved that for you now? Yeah. And then we'll just put it around. Push it all in, into the corners as best we can. Okay, so we're on day two of the build. We stopped filming yesterday evening because it started raining badly and we cut it short. So, if you want to come and have a look at where we're at, I will show you. Um, what we managed to do uh, yesterday afternoon was start to get this insulation on the walls, if you can see. Um, and it's really dampened the sound. I've been for a drive this morning already and it's really dampened the sound in here. Uh, and then also this morning I've been out to pick up this so I don't have to build a unit for us keeping uh, anything in. We can fit the cooker in there, get some clothes, pots and pans, my kettle, coffee materials, which of course is all essential. So that was a beauty, that was 15 quid second hand, so you can't go wrong. It saves me spending a day building something. So here we've got a girl hard at work, getting the floors up, ready for insulation, hey Al? Yes. Go on, look at you. Wow, you've got a technique there. Yes. You busy? Is he busy there? Yeah. Yeah. That is a folding mattress that we've just acquired off my next door neighbour. Which is awesome. Which is amazing because it's the last thing I'm looking for. We just asked her if she could feed the cat while we're away. And she mentioned she had that, so that's my bed sorted. Ella and John have been taking the screws out of the wooden floor here. And what we're going to do next is we're going to get this insulation down. There's a lot of companies out there who make uh, purpose-made sound dampening insulation for the floors of van conversions. And they're self-adhesive, thick foam, and I'm sure it's excellent, excellent stuff but it's um, mm. sort of a bit above the budget for what I want to spend on this van. Plus, I'd have to order it, and it takes a few days to get it here. So what I've actually done is I've gone down the road to Screw Fix and grabbed some of this, which is the type of underlay that you'd normally use on uh, like laminate flooring. And it's got a 20 decibel uh, sound reduction, and it's only like a couple of mil thick. I think it's three mil or something like that. But you get tons of it for 20 quid. So what I thought was, well, what if we just put layer upon layer? So I think we'll get about three or four layers of this underneath the floor. It should do a very similar job, maybe not as good as the professional gear, but like I say, I have to try and stop myself from getting carried away. This is a work van and it will be a work van again in a couple of weeks time. It doesn't need a huge amount of spending on it. Uh, we just want to get it ready and get away on holiday, don't we? Mm-hmm. Everyone enjoying lunch? Yep. yep. <laughs> right, come on, finish your crisps. We've got to get back to it. Let's time lapse getting the uh, insulation in and the floor back down. Cue the music. Hey! 
Okay, so that's it. We got the insulation in, we've got the floorboards back down, and I've got four layers of this in now, which uh, equates to a, at least 10 mil, possibly more. So I would like to think that's gonna do a pretty good job. Um, yeah, so on to the next. Let's get some more insulation on the walls. In order to keep the kids interested, we had to have a dry run of the beds. Yes. <laughs> so these are, or this is, this is, these are, I don't know, the bunk beds that we got from Go Outdoors. That was one of the bigger expenses of the project, about 100 quid for that. But it means I don't have to build beds. So I've just got to put them up on a platform because as you can see over there, the wheel arch is in the way. So then we'll be able to shove it over a bit more. So we have got the rest of the thermo wrap on. We've even got it inside all these pockets here now, up on the ceiling. And it's doing its job already. I can feel how warm it is reflecting the sunlight from today. So next is more of this stuff like we put in the back doors. I am gonna start feeding it in and around and in behind here, into all the cavities where it will go. So, just like this. What I'm doing now is I've just been marking out here uh, my a pencil line. That's where the kid's bed is gonna to go to. So I'm making a platform. I'm gonna start making a platform here, which will be for my bed. Um, so I've got my wood here, I'm just starting to cut. The kids are helping by testing their bed out. How's the testing going guys? Is it good? I'm yeah? Better. Is it working? John's having his hair done. That's <laughs> nice. <laughs> Okay, so I have built this platform for my bed. It is massive, I realise that. It's designed in such a way that I'm gonna be able to store so much stuff underneath it. Um, this is a, a nice, small, thin mattress oh, that my neighbours lent us, which works perfectly. Um, the reason I've made it so wide, first of all, is so the kid's bed will wedge in down there so it'll stop it from rattling around when we're driving it's literally going to wedge in there okay so there is the leisure battery and i've got a couple coming off the positive and a couple coming off the negative that leisure battery is going to shove underneath that seat there and then i'll be able to access the van battery which is under here to hook them up but for now i was just getting that part of the circuit sorted so running behind here and across to there which you've already seen is that one i've got usb sockets and one cigarette lighter plug-in 12 volt socket there so that little cool box is running i'm just giving it a good run and yeah making sure it all works fine then i have also got over here more wires which run up along and down to my bigger switch which it's probably a bit of overkill, but it doesn't matter. I don't care. I can add to it later. So that's registering the same 12.5 volts. Now I have wired the, uh, that's the wire going up to a junction box for my ceiling lights. So I've just popped one of the lights in now to test. And you will see if I flick this switch, we have light. So I am mega happy with that. Okay, final day, day four. Um, well, I think it's gonna be the final day. Just got the uh, material to finish, putting on the panels. Um, we've got a bit of a late start this morning with regards to filming, because the camera girl was busy doing her hair for a little while. I need to look good. Yes, you need to look good for being on the other side of the camera. I get it, no problem. Um, so John and I have been working on this, and as you can see, we're getting the material onto the bigger panels now and this morning well we didn't have a camera girl we've been getting this panel put up on here very good and last night obviously we got this up with the lights um we're almost there we're almost there come and have a look at this this is how we do these boards because i haven't actually shown you yet um so the board's down here and i have sprayed some of this uh extra strong 
high temperature um, contact adhesive. I've sprayed it on there and I've sprayed it on here and it's just had a couple of minutes to go off a little bit till it's tacky. Yep, like that. And then what I'm gonna do is just fold this bit back over here, push it out, move that out of the way. That was so I didn't get anything on the rest of it. Now I'm able to pull this back and then I can stick that end. That glue has had a couple of minutes to go off a bit, get tacky, and I am just going to tease it into the middle, spread it to the sides, into the middle, out to the sides. Just like that. There we go. Right, if you want to come in closer, Elle. That looks satisfying. That kind of looks satisfying. Satisfying. <laughs> then what I'm going to do is just trim off some of the excess. We only need a couple of inches ish and then I've got to cut these like shark teeth into it so they can bend that's right so you can fold it around these long annoying corners that some of these panels have like that without it trying to stretch so we've just got to quickly go around and do that And then John has been helping me do this, so I am sure he could talk you through how it works. So, I'm going to be showing you how to do this. First of all, you need this stuff here. Then, you just go on an angle and then spray. Oh. Then, you wait for then you wait for like about a few minutes this is how you do it you push your thumb against this or do this that then you put that over like that 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 and then you just keep going until you've got a whole round here done okay so this is why the camera girl needed to spend so long doing her hair because now she's in front of the lens that's it do some sweeping good girl it wasn't the reason <laughs> so there we have it panels in everywhere this panels in and the electrics fit there now once i'll swept that out we are going to put this carpet down you ready guys Yep. So, despite missing a bit of carpet because we ran out of material, who cares? Our beds will hide that. Look at this. Do 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 do. Fantastic. Oh, what are those ugly things over there? Hey, they spoil we're not okay. the view. Turn the lights on. A bit. Look at this. It's hard to tell how bright they are actually in the daylight, but we came out last night to try them out, and they're mega bright. Okay. It's very early on uh, Thursday morning. We completed the van day before yesterday. I'm afraid there was a lack of enthusiasm for filming the last bit. Um, I think everyone was burnt out and tired. But uh, I'll give you a little tour before we set off. We're about to hit the road. We packed the van up yesterday. Uh, yeah, so I'll give you one last little look of the finished product. So there she is in all her glory, just looking like a work van. But once we get in the back of here, there we go bed all ready to go kids beds all ready to go i got the platforms built under them bit crude but like i said before this is just a crude job um we have got a kitchen box we have got clothing boxes which i can just pop out mine's a bit mine's a bit full there we go clothing boxes under there we have got the fantastic uh night effect disco lights <laughs> for later um my cousin donated that speaker which was fantastic cheers mike 
Um, so we've got cooker in here and washing up bowl and pots and pans. I've got loads of, oh gosh, noodles and chucky bickies and what have you down there. I put these little edges on here as well so things can't slide out when I'm driving. And I've got a whole ton of pot noodles and things in there with cereal because I've Bugger if I'm cooking on this trip because that's all I ever do is cook and clean, so I'm not doing it. I'm on holiday. Ha <laughs> ha. Water supply, kids' shoes. Ooh, what's the pillow? View from the back. Oh, it's a bit of a mess in here. I've just been chucking things in, but I've got I've got a toolbox there. Behind the toolbox is the portaloo there. There's some jackets and warm clothes under there, which I hope we won't need. So that's why they're shoved under there. I've got camping table and chairs. I've got my emergency roadside stuff, jump leads, wheel brace, jack. Uh, that's toilet stuff there. That's needs packing away, but I'm past caring now. So that's the view from back here. Focus, there we go. That's the view from the back. And it's time to It's time to uh, wake the kids up and chuck them in the van and I'm going to hit the road nice and early and try and get a couple of hours under my belt before uh, rush hour starts and then we'll stop for breakfast while everyone else is running around and going to work. Sounds like a plan. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that little blast from the past. Next week, what we're going to be doing is we're starting a series of camper van tours. So if anyone knows anyone who's got a camper van in not too far distance from where we are here in North Yorkshire, uh, I'd love to take a look and I'd love to film it if they don't mind. So drop it in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and tell me what your thoughts are. See you guys. Thanks. Bye bye.